I'm Jeff Bennett, and I'm the owner of Red Bike Publishing. And I'd like to talk to you about what a niche market is. Niche market is probably your best opportunity to write and develop a book-based business. And we'll get into some more discussion. But one thing that supports a niche-based niche book effort are some new publishing opportunities that have existed for a couple of years but i just wanted to lay them out to you especially if you are maybe an older author or somebody who's been trying to market their books for many years if you're like me you've got a few binders of rejection letters from different um publishing companies that uh, have said that they were not able to use your books but i'm going to show you how to develop a book-based business get your books published start a business from those books without having to go through a traditional publisher. I've spent many years trying to get my books published and you know, many years before the internet and before there are opportunities and I've been working with several publishers, but I could not ever get my books published unless it was self-published or vanity publishing. And then I spent years self-publishing my book and other people's books in trying to follow a traditional publishing model, which really didn't work. I can't compete against the big publishers and I wasn't really selling books. I uh, printed and published my books and for five other authors, but we did not sell a lot until recently when I went to um, a convention and learned about new publishing techniques. And I just wanna share them with you. I'm glad you're here. I'm so glad you signed up for a course and I know this course is going to help you out. Um, throughout this course, I'll show you what I've done, the books I've written, um, the books I've published for other people, and how I am trying to turn my authors loose, giving them this information that I'm giving you so that they are able to make much more money uh, than they can as an author for my publishing company, Red Bike Publishing. This will make sense to you later. But let's talk about a niche industry. One of the things that author has a problem with, an author generally has a problem identifying their niche, their genre, and who their audience is. A niche is your opportunity to define your market. Don't think of your market as a broad, I have to attract everybody in the world to read my books. So the techniques I'm about to show you, the free and very low cost techniques will allow you to make six figure incomes just like I did. I make almost a thousand dollars a month in book sales. And you know, that's not a lot. It's not an amazing amount. It's not what you're being promised. I'm promising you a great part-time income from selling your books and becoming either a consultant or using your platform to launch more materials outside of your books. I, I sell books. I sell spinoff items that relate to the books, and I'm going to show you how to do that too. But come on, let's get started. So now I am going to save you from having to look at me, and we'll get on into the class. I'm going to take a second and get my slides ready to share. Yeah, we have to look at slides, but hopefully you won't find them very boring at all. Um, I'm just going to bring these up, and I'm going to share my screen which will be these slides. And there we go. Um, I'm gonna be on the side somewhere and you'll see both of us. All right, so we're creating a book-based business based on a niche. And we'll find out a little bit more about what niches are. All right, so a niche is some simply an area of specialization. Um, a niche market may consist of only a few thousand people, but that will be enough for you to sell a lot of books. Now, these few thousand people, imagine selling 40, 50, 60 dollar books to a few thousand people. Can you do those numbers in your head? 30, 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars at, at book sales alone. All right, so. That sounds like a lot of money. That could be money right in your pocket. The, a traditional publisher explained to me when I pitched a book item to him, idea to him that it would cost 20 
$20,000. They would have to invest $20,000 in preparing this book for market and then marketing that book. And potentially, they will not make their money back. It would not be worth their effort. Even if they spent $20,000 and made forty, dollars it may not be worth their effort because a lot of their book sales have to cover other books that don't sell as much. All right, so niche marketing addresses new and refreshing ideas that are often far more cutting edge than you'll find in other marketing books. Okay, so what's so special about a niche? A niche is simply an area of specialization. What's so good is that niche markets consist of maybe only a few thousand people that have needs that aren't being met by traditional publishers. And I'll cover those needs a little bit later. But um, for example, maybe you have 60,000 people in your niche market. Out of those 60,000 people, maybe only just say 10% buy your books. That's 6,000 people. Out of those 6,000 people, let's just say your, your book because it's a niche specialty, can sell for $30, $40, $50. So let's just say $30 times 6,000 people do the math. That's a lot of money. So, but now think of it the other way, $18,000 that you could potentially make in book sales. Now think of it another way. A traditional publisher told me that a book for them to get ready to print costs about $20,000. So you can see the potential if they tried to publish at a traditional publisher a niche book where only six to 10,000 people would buy it, they may lose money, all right? Because they've got sunken upfront costs. Not you. Now with niche publishing there, I'll show you what those costs are and they're very, very little. We're talking about in the hundreds of dollars versus in the tens of thousands. So, um, so niche marketing also addresses new and refreshing ideas that are far more cutting edge. Because you're a niche, you can get more of the science, the intimate details that your audience will love. And um, you may be even able to further define that niche into an even smaller audience. And once you do that, you're going to have people that are ready to buy your book because there's nowhere else to turn. Imagine if you wanted to be, because I'm a security specialist, you wanted to work in security or be a private detective or learn how to um, do um, executive protection. You can't learn that in a college. The best thing you can do is probably go to a law enforcement class in college and but this law enforcement class is going to be broad and it's going to be you'll be learning things that aren't that are applicable to what you're doing but you're not going to get in-depth knowledge of it that's where somebody would come in if you're a, an expert at executive protection or you're an expert at one area of a security niche you're going to have people buying your books we'll explain other niches later but hopefully by using my experience as a security consultant and a security expert, you can translate what your experience is and apply it to what I've done.